Retail all across America is changing, and today's best and brightest retail minds are rethinking the status quo as they transform their physical stores into spaces worth dreaming about. But to get a better understanding of how and why stores are evolving, we knew we needed to visit the very center of where retail transformation is taking place. So Rethink Retail hopped on a plane to San Francisco, California, where our friends at Salesforce were hosting their annual flagship event, Dreamforce 2022. My name is Michelle Grant. I'm a Director of Industry Insights at Salesforce. It was our pleasure to welcome retailers and brands to Dreamforce 2022. It was such a great reunion after a couple of years meeting virtually. And it was even more of a pleasure to take those retailers and brands to the most innovative, unique retail spaces in San Francisco. Born in San Francisco, Salesforce is dedicated to the city where it has grown up over the decades. And it was such a pleasure to host everyone once again and explore the innovative retail concepts that call San Francisco home as well. From remarkable resale to curated cannabis, San Francisco is home to some of the nation's best retail experiences. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's first take a look at the city of San Francisco itself and how this community, once known for its fruit trees and beatniks, came to be a boom town for retail innovation. From the gold rush of 1849 to the dot-com boom of the late 1990s, San Francisco has long been a center of industry and innovation. In its early years, merchants catered to the needs of local miners and later to the growing population of the city. Retail in San Francisco experienced a major boom in the early 20th century, thanks in part to the arrival of new technologies like the automobile and the telephone. Department stores and specialty stores became popular, and street vendors and market stalls played an important role in the city's retail landscape. This boom continued well into the 1950s when the city saw the development of several new shopping centers, including the iconic Castro Street Mall. Today, San Francisco is home to a wide variety of retail establishments. From small mom and pop shops to autonomous stores to large legacy brands, this city's retail sector is thriving as it constantly evolves to meet the needs of its residents and visitors. San Francisco, to me, it holds a very special place in my heart. I'm from Northern California. I grew up in South Lake Tahoe. I went to college at FITM in downtown San Francisco. Uh, and I've spent time there not only working in retail myself, going to college, and but I've worked for brands that had locations in San Francisco. And as I have um, become district manager, regional manager, heads of stores for brands, I've spent a lot of time in the city and to watch it evolve from also, of course, big downtown Union Square metro businesses that are really dominated by flagship luxury brands to smaller, beautiful streets like Fillmore Street that have this local sense of community. So San Francisco, because it's such an important tourist destination, but at the same time is a vibrant, technology hub is a really interesting kind of merging of all these worlds together. It, it's a really unique place. And while the pandemic has had challenges on every major city, including San Francisco, you can see that it still has this energy. It still has this important place in the ecosystem of retail and spending time there during Dreamforce and doing these tours, you could see that brands that are heavily invested in the success of downtown San Francisco and are rebuilding flagships, expanding their footprint. And there's this been kind of a turn of excitement that has happened. Uh, and so it's great to see it thriving. It's great to see it continuing to grow as people come back to the office, come back to downtown San Francisco. As tourism increases, um, it's a really exciting time to be in the city. A new era of retail is emerging, and San Francisco is at the forefront. 
this new era is characterized by a shift away from traditional retail models to more innovative and customer-focused approaches. During our visit, we discovered how the integration of technology within the store can transform the retail experience beyond our wildest dreams. We also explored what sustainability and luxury can look like when they come together seamlessly, as well as a number of innovative retail concepts that are attracting the attention of visitors from all around the world. One of the things that I love about downtown San Francisco, not only is it walkable, similar to New York City, but within each major block, you've got the kind of newest versions of, of retail. So the large Amazon Go store, you've got a traditional mall attached to it with Nordstrom as a flag. I opened several stores in that mall. You've got big, famous flagship luxury brands. So for example, when we did the tour of, of Gucci, that has been an iconic location for that brand for decades. I remember shopping in there, going in there with my family uh, when when we were young and this was like in the 80s. So it's, it's great to see that these foundational businesses that have always been there, Neiman Marcus is another one. Um, and in fact, I've recently met someone who worked in that store for several decades. And so there's just kind of this history and this storytelling that happens about the city mixed with new brands, new technology, the real, real, Amazon Go, new ideas uh, mixed with traditional is, I think, what makes up much of the most beautiful and interesting parts of the retail industry. The Real Real is the world's largest online marketplace for luxury resale that's been authenticated. We are an environmentally conscious company. We're changing the way that fashion does business. Excited that we have 19 physical locations, 16 of them shoppable, 11 opened in the last year. We are in the heart of Union Square. I think about Union Square, it truly is the culture, the energy, and it's a shopping destination. With our company being founded in San Francisco, being part of Union Square just seemed like a natural fit for us. The real, real story in San Francisco, quite honestly, you walk in, it's stunning. You walk into an immediate, you're greeted with a, an amazing array of mannequins and products that are just all unique and one of a kind. I think that's the really great thing about our store is no two items are alike. So the thrill of the hunt truly, truly does exist. We curate our store every single week because all of our items sell so fast. And we know that when shoppers come in, they spend a really good amount of time with us going through all of our handbags, our accessories, our home and art, what's been curated, and finding all this sense of discovery through a great shopping experience. The other part that's great about our, our experience is you can also consign with us. So we have a five to 10 minute experience right at the front of the store where you can bring your consignment. We're able to educate. We're able to also reject items right on the side if, they, if we don't take them so we don't have to wait. Then we take possession of the items and do all the work for the consigners. You don't even have to have an appointment. You just come right in. We make it so easy. And then when you go downstairs into our men's department, we also have our luxury consignment office. And in that office, items over 2000 that any consigner is curious about, wants to get educated on what would this really sell for? What's the value of my item in a handbag, a great piece of jewelry or a watch? And there is no pressure to consign. It's truly about education. And if a consigner wants to consign, we take possession. And if not, that's okay. Then you go all the way back upstairs. We have a cafe, so we can definitely have a great sight glass coffee, a pastry, sit down on Maiden Lane outside and enjoy your time. We really curated this experience for all types of senses, whether it was our candle assortment, our beauty, our home and art, our fashion, our consignment experience, and our cafe to make it one of the best that we have to offer our customers in all of our stores. While many of the brands we visited are relatively new players, the same can't be said about Levi's. Founded in 1853, Levi Strauss & Co. is a San Francisco staple that grew its roots selling canvas tents, wagon covers, and bags to miners in search of California gold. 
Over the years, the company produced jeans, overalls, and clothing for working men and women, and in the 1960s, the Levi's brand became associated with the counterculture movement and the hippie lifestyle. Since then, Levi's helped to shape San Francisco's image as a hip and trendy city, and it remains a popular brand among locals today. Levi's stores can be found throughout the city, including its iconic Market Street location. One of the brands that we visited was Levi Strauss, and it's right there in the heart of Union Square on Market Street. And San Francisco has this energy and this grit and this sense of style and this very unique place it plays in the retail landscape of California. And what I love about Brandon's story and about what Levi's is doing is because they have, you know, when some would say a contemporary price point entry price point product, yet when you listen to him describe the level of service and customization and historical references and new ideas that this brand continues to demonstrate it's and introduce it's incredibly exciting you know the, that you can book an appointment to go into that store on market street have items pulled in advance in your fitting room have a full styling session you know for product that much of which is under a hundred dollars in retail that is a great example of the price point shouldn't dictate the level of service that is delivered and listening and asking him some questions gave me the opportunity to learn about the brand but to see how you can integrate great technology rfid great new ideas with a very intense focus on the customer experience and the power of creating something that's really magical we're one of the few stores that has a full blown out tailor shop. So cool thing about that is we do customization, we do buttons on jackets, uh, we can do back patches, we can do chain stitch embroidery, him while you wait. So what made me want to come to Levi's was the innovation, uh, the creativity. We just launched a new program online. So you can actually request a stylist online and have an in-store appointment, scheduled outfits, pulled, et cetera. The cool thing about that is we have a uh, loyalty system called the Red Tag. And basically all of your purchase history is logged and the stylists, when they get your name and your information, they, they can actually reference that, see what you bought over the past, I believe 18 months. Okay. They can see your size, fit, et cetera. And they can pre-pull looks that go in for the fitting room for you to try on, as well as adding some surprise and delights mm -hmm. uh, to make that, that, that appointment more meaningful. San Francisco has always been a city on the forefront of cultural change, so it should then come as no surprise that the city has embraced cannabis retail. There are now over 200 cannabis dispensaries in the Bay Area, and that number seems to be growing every day. San Francisco's cannabis retailers are some of the most innovative in the country, and one such retailer is Apothecarium. Located in the Castro District, Apothecarium is a wonderland of colorful, curated displays offering everything from flour to edibles to concentrates. We are a medical cannabis dispensary that is focused on providing education and a welcoming open space to anybody who may be interested in learning more about cannabis and how its uses can be helpful in their day-to-day -day lives. We have five locations across California. The flagship location of the Apothecarium is located in the Castro neighborhood of San Francisco, which is historically an LGBTQ friendly and encouraging neighborhood. This felt like the perfect place to start our company journey because we also want to embody what the Castro neighborhood embodies, which is that anybody is welcome and anybody is welcome to show up and be their true selves. And with that, using cannabis and being comfortable, we want to welcome anybody into our space to feel the same way. Inside the Apothecarium Castro, we try to open you up into a very welcoming and comfortable space. There are lounge areas where you're able to sit and relax and browse the menus or see some of our products on display. We also have a lovely art gallery where we host and represent local artists and swap those out regularly and participate in neighborhood art gallery walks where we encourage more people to come in and visit our store. 
and gain that real comfort with cannabis. Once you're ready to make a purchase, you're able to interact with our consultants to whatever extent you really need to. You can go and chat and ask any questions and they're there to really help you understand and make you comfortable with any product you want to explore with. It's really the Apothecarium's mission to provide our members with quality cannabis experience in a welcoming environment filled with empathy, education, and just ongoing personal support. A big focus of ours is to provide a location where you can shop with dignity. You can feel comfortable and safe in the environment you're working into and really feel like you're there to support you and make you feel comfortable, ready to explore this new industry that still can have a little bit of stigma behind it. I really think that San Francisco being one of the first places to launch with medical and recreational cannabis and having stores like the Apothecarium and some of the other truly beautiful and comforting dispensaries that we have in the city are opening up to as the rest of the country and the world is legalizing cannabis, showing what this industry can really be and what these spaces can be. At the heart of every dreamy retail experience is a store associate. And Salesforce technology enables that store associate to bring to life a magical in-person shopping experience that matches those dreamy retail physical environments. Store associates have access to uh, the 360 degree view of the customer through a mobile device. That data includes past purchase orders uh, in the cart, and all of that data enables the store associate to offer a very personalized shopping experience to ensure that that customer is surprised and delighted and shopping for the products that they truly want and need. But the role of the store associate is more than just a sales associate now. Store associates are responsible for fulfillment, for virtual sales, and for virtual service. But our solutions are not limited to just enabling store associates. We have a suite of products from sales and marketing cloud to commerce cloud and service cloud that enables a brand or retailer to build an online presence that helps the customer throughout their journey. And that unified platform enables all people within the organization to have that 360 degree view of the customer to ensure a seamless retail experience no matter what the touch point is. It's never been more exciting, challenging, evolutionary, and thoughtful about how retail is operating, how teams are engaging, how the customer's thinking about brick and mortar retail, and the idea of the uniqueness of every particular major city, small town, kind of major market, different states. It is quite a unique and diverse group of, of retail concepts that are all over this country. What I would say, the common things that we all share is that there's a real pride in working in retail. There's this sense of camaraderie, the sense of we've made it through the last two and a half years together. We have really thought about um, how we are engaging with our local communities, um, how the demand for product has shifted, how we sell, um, how we think about things like live selling and chat and curbside pickup um, is very different by brand and sometimes different by city. But there's a common ground of pride, which makes me incredibly happy and honored to, to work in this industry and share those stories. And it's an incredibly exciting time to be in retail.